I, I think these police officers should 100% be on trial for murder. They are clearly already on trial in the court of public opinion, but I don't know how much more communities ac across the board, not just African American communities, but Americans in general, can can withstand this. I, I think these police officers should. So that was a conservative co-host of The View, Megan McCain, actually calling for murder charges against the four police officers who have now been fired uh, in the, uh, of course, death of George Floyd. So, look, she's actually right on that. Yeah. I showed you that video yesterday, right? Uh, and it is difficult to watch. There was a handcuffed man who was basically begging to have the officer get off his neck so that he can breathe. It was inc so incredibly senseless what had happened. Uh, and there's widespread, out uh, widespread outrage, of course, as there should be. Uh, right now, people are riding the streets, Minnesota, over this. And I don't think anybody should be surprised about that at all. In fact, I want to show you the rest of what Meghan McCain had said. Uh, and she she's so she's so close to getting it that I just I just I, I just want to show you that. And I think when you're sitting at home and seeing a blatant murder of an unarmed black man on video, you can understand why people are reaching a fever pitch because it doesn't seem like this is stopping. And it's it's not just happening in Minneapolis. It's happening all over the country, everywhere. This is a systemic problem nationally. And what's interesting on top of that is ABC had released footage this morning of George when he was originally arrested and he's not resisting and he's not struggling. They handcuff him and take him to the side of a wall and he's being being very compliant in every way. So I think the question that so many of us have is how do you go from being someone who's not resisting arrest, who seems to be completely complying with police officers, to having your neck suffocated nine minutes later and you dying? And I, I think these police officers should 100% be on trial for murder. They are clearly already on trial in the court of public opinion. But I don't know how much more communities ac across the board, not just African American communities, but Americans in general, can, can withstand this especially at this moment in time when there's so much anger and so much frustration. And I, I, I really worry about these kind of riots uh, re going, going across the country because I just don't think Americans can handle this anymore. It, it's just so blatant and egregious. And, you know, apparently if you are a police officer and there, I would like to say there are great police officers everywhere. It's not a blanket statement. But when you see people like this who are just going to murder someone in broad daylight, it obviously puts a mark on, on all of them. All right, she is so close. I mean, she's almost there. There's obviously a lot that I disagree with with uh, when it comes to Meghan McCain, right? But look, maybe I hope people are starting to understand that it doesn't matter how compliant you are when it comes to police officers. You're a black person. You can be as compliant as you want. Or, or as they want, I should say you still run the risk. You still stand a very good chance of not making it out of a police encounter alive. Regardless of the crime or alleged crimes, you don't even have to be doing an alleged crime. You don't have to be doing anything wrong. Look at Philando Castile. He's a legal gun owner that was gunned down in his car during a traffic stop. What about Kenneth Walker? Kenneth Walker defended himself after police in plain clothes raided his girlfriend's apartment and shot up the place over 20 times. Eight of them went into his girlfriend, killing her, right? And this was all while they had the actual suspect in custody. He shot back. He was a lingo gun owner. He shot back. He's facing murder charges for shooting a cop. Or I'm sorry, not murder charges. Uh, he's facing charges for shooting at a cop. Why? Why? I mean, you could be minding your own business. Bam, you're dead. Why? Because a, a police officer, their itchy trigger finger, right? It's because they don't value your life. Not only that, but look, you've got middle-aged, uh, you know, white middle-aged women like Meghan McCain loving to call the cops on black people for doing normal things. For example, look, it just blew up. Amy Cooper, right? Amy Cooper called the cops on a black man because he wanted to, uh, you know, keep her dog on a leash, right? Per the park rules. He wanted her just to keep her dog on a leash. That could have ended very badly for Christian Cooper. This is what we've been saying. So what we've been saying 
all along, right? It's really two different countries for black people versus white people, but also, of course, for poor people versus wealthy people. You don't see any wealthy people being treated like this. Poor people and, of course, people who are black, which tend to be disproportionately poor because of the system that we have set up to disenfranchise African-Americans more so than white people. We have that system uh, that is set up. You see this happening more and more often, and it's disastrous. So, look, it is nice to see Meghan McCain get a little bit of awareness about this issue, but I want to avoid giving her too much credit for this because it shouldn't take an egregious thing like this to realize that police are out of control in this country and do not respect black lives or poor lives and never have. They're taught, they're drilled to always use the maximum amount of force necessary towards people of color and towards people who are disabled, people who are poor. And look, you even have black officers, right, that are taught the same thing, that do the same thing. One of the officers in this case uh, that was uh, was an Asian offer, officer, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's the training, it's the culture, take zero risk, dole out maximum force because we're the law. We are the law, and it's going to take a lot more than Meghan McCain and other Karens to wake up for us to be able to change that. So, yes, it's, an, it, it's, it's nice that she gets it a little bit, but there is a lot more that we can do, and there is a, a long way that we need to go to be able to actually start to fix this problem in this country because, look, the roots run deep, and it is a power structure that is set up to disenfranchise people who are ultimately not in power. And it, it is something that is going to take a lot more than people starting to wake up. But at least it's a, you know, it, it's, it's the first step. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation that goes a long way to help us keep the lights on and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media